Um, our next candidate is running for president. It's Joseph Gilligan. All righty. Thank you. A little boy named Tommy won $100 so badly that he paid for two weeks, but nothing happened. Then he decided to write a letter to God requesting for the money. When the Postal Service received the letter addressed to God, they decided to send it to the President. The President was so touched and amused by the request, he reached into his pocket and sent little Tommy a $50 bill. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> little, Tommy, <laughs> little Tommy was delighted with the money and sat down to write a thank you note to God which read, Dear God, thank you very much for sending me the money. However, I noticed that for some reason you had to send it through Washington, and as usual, those crooks took half. <laughs> thank you, Vice President Seidel, faculty, staff, which are both not here at the moment, and the class of 2017. Hello, I am Joe Gilligan, and I'm running for the class of 2017 president. And I hope you like me more than Tommy does. I believe a great class president should possess three qualities, leadership, managing money, and teamwork. My resume will show I am the right person for the job. At my high school, I learned leadership by being president of three clubs which exceeded 250 memberships, student memberships. These included DECA Business Club, Math League, and the Federal Reserve Challenge. On the money management side, I came in first in the New Jersey State Finance Test two years in a row and competed nationally in Salt Lake City. Finally, I learned teamwork by being part of my high school baseball team, which was ranked fifth in the state. But hats off to the past, coats off to the future. I want to tell you how excited I am to be at Houghton College and start a new chapter of my life, a new chapter in all of our lives. My impressions these last few weeks have been very positive, and I'm excited to be part of this community. I found Houghton offers great classes. They offer great professors, inspiring chapel speeches, great resident halls, and great food menu of sorts. <laughs> Houghton is blessed with the beauty of her founding on the rock and her warm, compassionate student body. Houghton is doing great things for the community and for the world. I know our class of 2017 will continue to do so. I'm here to say that I think we can continue to make Houghton College into the most desired school by all Christians. We can do this by first strengthening our commitment to our school and to one another. I'm reminded by the hymnal song lines that state, we should strengthen our hearts in Christian love, the fellowship of kindred minds, and make stronger the ties that bind. So how can we strengthen Houghton College's ties that bind? Some of my suggestions and ideas are very simple, and I'll su suggest just a few tonight. One, in the spirit of fellowship, I suggest a Houghton Mountain Day, which would occur on an unannounced day. The specific date of Houghton Mountain Day would not be known by neither students nor faculty until the morning of the event. On Mountain Day, all classes are canceled for the day and both students and faculty are shuttled off to Letchford Park. The day includes a picnic lunch, <clears throat> nature walks, a Christian service, music, canoeing, and a class versus class tug of war. <laughs> Two, in the spirit of athletics, I suggest a Houghton College or Houghton costume dodgeball tournament. It will occur around Halloween and each team can dress up in any appropriate costume they desire and the winners win a pizza party. <laughs> there will be two winners. There will be a champion of the dodgeball tournament, and there will be a first place prize for the best costume. The intent is to raise money for future class trips. Number three, in the spirit of dorm rivalry, there will be an ultimate frisbee tournament that puts dorm against dorm. Winning dorm gets the James S. Lucky Trophy to put in the common room of their dorm, and bragging rights for the rest of the year. <laughs> Number four, an op I have an open door policy. I'll have an open door policy for any problems, ideas for events, or clubs that you can suggest. I'll work with SGA and CAB to make things happen or work 
and also to work with administration staff if there is any problems at Houghton. I won't promise you that President Mullen or Vice President Poole will approve everything we want, but with your vote and support, I can push these ideas and others forward. In Galatians 6.10, it says, As we have opportunity, let us do good to all people, especially to those who belong to the family of believers. At Houghton, we are a family of believers, and we have been given the opportunity to be here tonight, ladies and gentlemen, in this wonderful place. You see, this is our time. Our time to lead in the classroom. Our time to lead on the athletic field. Our time to lead in our commitment to God. Let me be clear, brothers and sisters. Vote for me, Joe Gilligan, and let us make this our time for greatness. Thank you. <laughs>